Hi, beautiful. I'm feeling feisty today because I had my matcha latte. Toning is fun. It is the icing on the cake. And in some cases, it is the cake. It's very important to do this step correctly, which is why I decided to make an entire video about this one topic. Choosing the right toner for your blonde hair is essential to making it look luxurious and professionally done. Today, I'll give you everything you need to know in the most simplest of terms terms about toning your hair, maybe without using T18. But basically, we're just gonna keep this very basic so you can do this at home and not f it up. If I see one more person <laughs> using T18 on their orange hair, I might just stop doing hair just reacts. I'm just kidding, that's never gonna happen. Please don't skip over anything in this video because all of it is very important and I try to sum up everything and make it short and sweet, but every detail is important for you to know to make the best decision on which toner you should use to tone your special blonde hair and make it as beautifully white, just like that pure platinum blonde that I rocked for many, many years. And with that all said, let's get into it. <laughs> First, let's talk about your different toning options and how toner works. Color is broken up into three different categories, semi, demi, and permanent. And those all do mean different things. Now, semi is going to last the least amount of time in your hair, around three to six washes, whereas demi is gonna last a little bit longer, about 12 washes. And permanent, of course, lasts the most amount of time in your hair, 20 washes. This is just a ballpark number, but that is kind of the idea of the different types of color. Semi-permanent color just lays on top of your hair. It is not going in there. It's not penetrating anything. And that's why it washes out much faster. When things are inside of the hair, it takes a longer time to wash out. Now, demi-permanent slightly lifts the hair cuticle, very, very slightly goes underneath and also lays on top. So you're getting a little bit more protection because it's in the cuticle, but it still ends up washing out a little bit faster than permanent color. Now, permanent color is not gonna wash out fast because it is fully raising those cuticles. The molecules are fully going into the hair shaft sitting in there, and that is why you can wash your hair many, many times and it does not come out because it is really deep in there. It is shoved in there. It... Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah. And now I explained that part to you, but let me just tell you, I know what you're thinking like, oh, well, permanent seems like the best option for me. Like I want it to last a long time. I want my hair to look perfect forever. There are different applications for different types of color. You don't always want to use permanent color for reasons I'll explain later, but I can't stress that enough. Just because it's permanent doesn't mean it's better. Lastly, a very important rule of thumb here about how toner works. Toner does not lighten your hair. It simply tones it. It is not called a lightener. That's what we call bleach. You cannot go lighter with toner. You can only stay at the exact level you're at after you lighten your hair. So please use bleach and get your hair where you want it to be first and use toner to perfect what you already have. Now that we know that's very basic, beautiful information, let's move on to the next topic, shall we? Let's quickly review the level system and the color wheel. Because those are two magical, very useful things you should know if you're coloring your own hair. Okay, here's the color wheel. Okay, <laughs> beautiful thing. Oh, my baby. She's actually my niece. The color wheel is my niece. That wasn't funny. If you look at here, the opposite of orange is blue and the opposite of yellow is purple. So if your hair has more yellow tones in it after you've lightened it, then you're gonna wanna go with a toner that has more of a purple base to it. And purple is violet in color. So purple equals violet. And then if your hair is really orange, you're seeing a lot of orange in your hair, you're gonna want a more blue toned toner. And blue and hair color world is usually an ash tone. So blue equals ash. So you're really looking for demi-permanent colors that has either a V or an A on the package. Those represent violet and violet is purple. And then the other one is ash, which is A and A is blue. Those are the only two things you need to know. Quick thank you to blue and purple pigment because it plays such an important part in making your hair white as f 
without blue and purple, you wouldn't get platinum blonde. You wouldn't do it. Now, if you're having a hard time figuring out if your hair has more orange or yellow tones in it, well, I recommend holding up a white piece of paper to your hair or anything white and just seeing, is your hair orange or is your hair yellow? And then if you're seeing both, I would just say your hair has more orange in it and go with that. The other very important factor when coloring your hair with a toner to make it very nice and bright and white or silver or whatever you wanna do, you wanna know what level your hair is. When we're talking about blonde, we're typically talking about level eight through 10, sometimes seven. Seven is a dirty kind of blonde, but we won't include level seven in this video just because it's irrelevant right now. Um, we're talking about very light blonde, which is eight, nine, and 10. So kind of match your hair up to these and figure out is your hair level eight, is it a nine, or is it a 10? Now that you know what level your hair is, what the underlining tone of your hair is, is it orange or yellow? Typically in a level eight, you're seeing a lot more orange. Typically in a level nine, you're seeing a lot more yellow. And then typically in a level 10, you're seeing a very pale yellow. Perfection. Now that you know what level your hair is, and you also know what the underlining tone of your hair is, we can move on to the next step, which is choosing between semi, demi, and permanent hair color. Which one should you use for toning your blonde hair? Semi is awesome for people going and doing fashion colors, which is like blue, purples, pinks, anything like that, because it does wash out fast. You can change the color often. So if you're the type of person who's like, I'm gonna change this color all the time, I don't wanna be blonde for that long, we're gonna do all sorts of choose semi because it's amazing on the hair. It's very conditioning and it does a wonderful job at toning hair. However, it doesn't last that long, which is beneficial in a lot of ways, but also can be its downfall. With a semi-permanent color, you'll know that it's semi because it'll say it on the bottle, but you'll also know because it doesn't have a developer with it. You don't have to mix it with anything. It is just a standalone. You use it right out of the tube or the bottle. Very simple. Then we move on to a demi-permanent color and that involves a developer and a tube, bottle, whatever it is. You mix them both together and there's your potion, there's your concoction you then put on your hair and magic things happen. Typically a doing permanent color is mixed with 10 volume or below that six volume, whatever it'll be. Doing permanent does a beautiful job at attaching to that hair, doing a great job of toning just enough and also does not cause any damage to your hair or just very, very, little bit of damage. Just an all around great option for toning. Beautiful, I love Demi Permanent Color. And then we have Permanent. Permanent is scary when talking about toning pre-lightened hair. And that is because with Permanent Color, you're typically using something like a 20 volume or 30 volume with the Permanent Color. And what happens when you use a developers that are higher than 10 volume is you're gonna get a lifting moment. And lifting means it's opening your hair cuticle so that the molecules can go inside. And sometimes that's not good because when it lifts, it does cause damage. It's not healthy to keep lifting your hair and lifting your hair and lifting your hair. The other thing with permanent color when using it as a toner is that it can tend to be very dull. With demi-permanent and semi-permanent, it is very glossy, it is very reflective. Toning with permanent color can make your hair look dull and kind of lifeless and it won't reflect light as well. However, it is great if your hair is just a tint yellow and it's still healthy and you just wanna kick it into high gear and get all that little bit of yellow out and you don't mind just a little bit more damage, while well, you can use permanent color because it does have that lifting agent, it's gonna get, knock that yellow out and deposit that tone in. But for this video, I'm gonna keep it there with permanent color. Above all, I just recommend using demi-permanent color for toning platinum blonde hair. Okay, finally, we've learned so much already. That was wonderful. I had so much fun explaining that. I love color. Now that you have all this information, what do you, where do you go? How do I do this? Where do I go to get this color? Who do I ask? Let me answer that. First of all, your hair must be light enough to tone. If your hair is not a level eight, get it there. You have to use bleach. Color does not lift color. And if your hair is a level eight and you want to be a 10, use bleach. Unless your hair is damaged, then leave it alone. But use bleach, get it to a level 10, and then tone your hair. Toner will not make your hair lighter. Pick a toner that is the same level as your hair. Don't go beyond what you are. If your hair is level eight, don't pick a level nine or 10 toner. T18 is a level 10 toner. Most of you guys do not have level 10 hair, so don't do that. There's other options. You can ask somebody at a Sally's Beauty Supply what they recommend and say you do not want T18 if your hair is already light because I know a lot of the girls that work at Sally's will recommend T18 even though like they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, that was really shady. I see most people trying to tone their level eight hair with a level 10 toner, T18, uh -uh -uh, and it doesn't do anything because that is not what the product is made 
for. So what I recommend you do is go to your local beauty supply store, whether that be Sally's or anything else that sells color. Walk in there and ask for a demi permanent color and pick the one that you feel is best. There'll probably be three options, four options. Most of it does the same thing in slightly different formulas. So don't overthink it, just pick one. Now that you've found the demi permanent color, choose a color that is at your level and choose a color that is going to cancel out whatever existing tone you have in your hair, whether that be orange or whether that be yellow. And you guys know the opposite of orange is blue, which is ash. And the opposite of yellow is purple, which is violet in color. An ash or an A is a very strong toner and a violet or a V is a lighter toner. There's also stuff like VA, mixtures of the two. Again, ask the person at the store, but take this knowledge with you, please. Then make sure you choose a demi-permanent developer to go with the demi-permanent color. Sometimes the hair care line does not have a developer to go with it. Sometimes they do. If there's nothing to go with it, just choose a 10 volume developer. It'll work out fine. And also don't use box dye, whatever you do. It's going to ruin your hair and it's not going to do anything. I promise you, I have no personal vendetta against box dye. It just doesn't work. It's not going to tone your hair. So stop trying to make it happen. I also like to apply the toner to damp towel dried hair. That way the water evens out the porosity of your hair, makes everything perfectly equal. And make sure that the parts of your hair that are very dry and damaged don't pick up the toner faster than the parts that are healthy. So you want a very even result and applying to damp hair will give you just that. And lastly, apply fast, go. Oh, dip your hand in it, put it on your hair and comb it through. Just get it in. Stop taking three years to put a toner on because you're gonna get one side that's purple and one side that's white, it's gonna be a mess. You have to have it all on your hair at the same time. I don't care if you use your hands, just get it on. Just go whoop, 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 whoop and make sure you get it everywhere and it'll be great. And then wait until the desired tone is achieved. That might only take a few minutes. So just be careful and watch it and kind of take a strand and rub off the color and see what you have underneath. But sometimes people tend to jump the gun too fast. Maybe just wait it out. If it's a little violet, who cares? Sometimes if you leave a toner on too long, it'll make your hair just a tiny bit violet. And like, it's just like fun for a couple of washes and then it washes out and then you end up with a perfectly white hair. And you can also just wait however long the directions tell you to wait, whether that be 10, 15, 20, 35 minutes. So just read the directions and keep an eye on your hair and boom. That is how you get it done. Just keep in mind, this is the very, very basics of toning hair. Stylists do things a lot more complicated than this, but this will give you a nice home hair color moment. You know what I mean? Just cause I'm sick of people with orange hair trying to tone with T18. It's just time I said something, you know? Anyways, yes, I was once the queen of platinum blonde hair and I have retired, but I'm trying to pass the baton on to all you other people out there who are trying to be platinum blonde queens with white hair that blends in with the white walls so you just look like you have no hair. That's the kind of white hair I always strived for and what I got. All right, you guys, that is all for today. Don't forget to check out my hair care brand, Ex Mondo Hair, for beautiful, luxurious, fabulous, glowing hair. We just released a product called Salty Sea Salt Spray. It'll be linked below. It'll give you perfect, fabulous, air dried hair. It'll give those amazing beach waves. Also, we have Wave Tech, which is an essential summer product. You can read more about them on the website. Also, make sure you check out Ex Mondo Hair on Instagram at Ex Mondo Hair, where we post so much great content and so much information about the brand. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Brad Mondo NYC. I also have a Facebook page and a Snapchat show under Brad Mondo. Make sure you check those out. And that is all for today. I hope all your white hair dreams come true. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you guys next time. Bye. This is Prismatic Glow, our hydrating mask. Prismatic Glow is a savior. You got dry, you got damaged hair, you got processed hair, you got bleached hair. This will save your life. We've combined argan oil and bobab oil in order to repair your hair and make it feel and look 10,000 times better. If your hair is damaged, if your hair is brittle, give this a go. It won't let you down.